Hey, what's going on guys? In today's tutorial, I'm gonna be covering how to set up a FM transmitter with the Raspberry Pi. So in this case, we're using the TEA5767 FM transmitter module. Um, the things that you're gonna need for this tutorial include the FM transmitter with the antenna. You're also gonna need a output speaker of some sort that connects via a 3.5 millimeter jack. Um, in this case, I'll be using a test speaker, which isn't shown here. You're going to need four female-to-female -female jumper cables and a Raspberry Pi of any flavor. In this case, I'm using the 3B. So, as always, you know all these parts can be found in the description below or on the website. So, with all that said and done, let's go ahead and start the physical setup. So, the first thing you want to do is turn over the... FM transmitter and you'll be presented with four different GPIO uh, pin outputs. So you have 5 volt, SDA, SLC, and ground. So in this case I'm just going to take my four cables here and in one shot I'm going to try and just uh, connect them all at once. So there we go. So uh, I have my 5 volt and ground. Uh, 5 volt is on the orange wire and ground is on the black so that's pretty straightforward um, all we need to do is take the orange and black and then on the top row um, hook it up to the second and third pin so the second pin is five volts and the third pin is ground so that's done there um, if we go back to the module we can see that uh, my red wire and brown wire are hooked up to SDN SLC so it's a pretty pretty straightforward connection here all we need to do is take the red wire and um, hook it up to the second pin on the bottom row so that's right below the other two um, if you're having fall, uh, trouble following along, I'll post the schematic on my website as well because um, it's kind of hard to um, you know, depict this on video. But that completes the physical setup to the Raspberry Pi. Uh, the only thing we need to do is hook up everything to the FM transmitter side. So if we flip that back over, um, we can see that there's two 3.5 uh, millimeter jacks right here. We want to hook up the antenna to the side with that chipset. Um, this will be the receiver portion. And then this um, other 3.5 millimeter jack will be hooked up to our test speaker. Okay, so here's the Raspberry Pi um, all hooked up. So there's the Pi and it's powered by a micro USB cable and then there's the T5767FM transmitter module. And as you can see that 3.5 millimeter jacks hooked up to my mini amplifier. And then that's hooked up to these two bookshelf speakers. So that's the physical, complete physical setup. Okay, so I've SSH'd into my Raspberry Pi. So the first thing that we need to do is check to see if our I2C interface is activated. So to do that, you just type sudo sudo raspy dash config um, navigate to interfacing options and you want to go down here I screwed C I already have mine activated but um, if you're coming off a factory install you're gonna have to change this to yes so I'll just simulate this right now yes and then hit OK and then just go to finish uh, you might have to restart but um, for me in this case I don't have to so now we need to go ahead and check to see um, that the T5767 has been recognized. To do that, we need to type this command sudo i squared i2c detect dash y1 and then hit enter. Um, as you can see here, um, 60 registers on this zero column. That means it's detected the module correctly. So we're um, good to proceed at this point. So now I'm going to head over to the Python script and I'm going to walk you through sort of how it works. 
Okay, so I've opened up PyCharmed and I've loaded my uh, radio script. Um, so I'm just gonna walk you through essentially how it works. So start from line one, you know, we're using Python 3. Um, this comment here, this is where I initially obtained the script um, from the Raspberry Pi.org forums. And this uh, baseline script was posted by a user named Linux Circle. So shout out to Linux Circle. Thanks for posting uh, the code. And then lines three through seven, you know, I import some libraries. So smbus, this interacts with our I squared C. Uh, subprocess just launches another uh, process, you know, uh, besides the script. Uh, curses is, is what we're going to use for user input. And then time is, you know, obviously it's for time. So on line nine, I squared C equals smbus one. Um, I think we are just initializing the I squared C uh, right here, and as you can see on line 10, uh, 0, 60, that was that correlates to the 60 that you saw when we checked the I squared C module, the address. So um, this function here, init radio, I'm just initializing the radio, and then on line 18 through 34 this is our set frequency function so this is where we actually write the bits to the module to set the different FM frequencies I'm not gonna get really in, into detail here um, as it's pretty commented um, but yeah essentially you know we take in the frequency and then we do some manipulation to it to convert it uh, from an integer to I believe it's a 14 bit. Uh, yeah. And then we write that here, and that sets the frequency. I also have a mute function. It does something relatively similar to the set frequency. Uh, definitely, this code could be refactored a bit. So, moving on to the main um, function right here is the core logic of the script. So, you know, first thing we do, we initialize the uh, radio. I've set the frequency to a static um, number, so 101.1. .1, that's where it's going to start. And then we initialize curses, so that um, starts our infinite loop to take in user input. And I've essentially mapped a bunch of keys to different uh, commands. So, for example, when we press F, it will set the frequency to 101.1. .1. As you can see, set frequency, I squared C address frequency, and frequency set to 101. Um, so then V does something similar and we set it to 102 so it, it passes this value into the set frequency here um, the W key we're gonna increment the frequency by 1 so let's say this was previously 102.1 if we increment it by 1 this will be 103 so every time we press W it'll increment by a whole integer and then S I've done something similar but it decrements by a whole integer E we're incrementing a little bit more granularly so like we're incrementing by 0.1 and then D is decrement by 0.1 I've set the key M to mute uh, the radio so there's a, a mute bit that we send to the radio module and it will silence it uh, U is unmute and then Q I've assigned to just exit the script and silence the module and then here I have to some a little bit of exception handling so when we exit the script it does a little bit more gracefully so that's pretty much the um, the core of the script how to interact with the T5767 now I have read online and looked in the documentation that there is a scan feature um, however I never got around to it um, but I'll leave that up to you guys to implement so now that we have a good idea of how this script works, let's go ahead and test it out. All we need to do now is type Python 3, 3 radio up here. I hit enter. It should initialize. And if I hit W, it should go to 102.1, 103, 104, 105. And then if I hit S, it should decrement 4, 3, Two, one, and then if I hit mute, radio muted, U unmute, and then Q will quit the script.
Okay, and that concludes the tutorial for today. I hope you guys learned something, and if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. I'll try to get to them if I can. Uh, like and subscribe, and stay tuned for upcoming content. Alright guys, peace.